Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Physics Easily. So the continuation of previous video we are going to see now error in the product of two quantities. So sum means V2 Z is equal to A plus B. Subtraction means Z is equal to A minus B. So in product, so product means multiplication. So I am going to take Z value as AB. So this is my first equation. So what is the measured value of A? Measured value of A is A plus or minus delta A. So once again this delta A is the absolute error. Next same way find out measured value of B. So measured value of B is B plus or minus delta B. Can we substitute in this? So what is measured value of Z same way? Z plus or minus delta Z is equal to substitute measured value of A. A plus or minus delta A. Substitute measured value of B. B plus or minus delta B. So automatically what is the next step? We have to remove this bracket. So multiply Z plus or minus delta Z is equal to A into B is AB. A into plus or minus delta B. So plus or minus A into delta B. Next multiply these two terms. Plus or minus delta A into B. Multiply these two terms plus or minus delta A dot delta B. So take this as equation number 2. So now what I am going to do is I am going to divide equation 2 by equation 1. So equation 2 left hand side is Z plus or minus delta Z. Equation 1 left hand side Z. Equation 2 right hand side a B plus or minus A into delta B plus or minus delta A into B plus or minus delta A into delta B divided by equation 1. So equation 1 right hand side is A B. So this term is common for both the terms right. So split this and write Z by Z plus or minus delta z by z equal to a b divided by a b I am just splitting this terms and write plus plus or minus a into delta b divided by a b plus or minus delta a dot b divided by a b plus or minus delta a into delta b divided by a b so cancel the similar terms your a and a get cancel b and b get cancel so remaining terms 1 plus or minus delta z by z is equal to 1 plus or minus delta b divided by b plus or minus delta a divided by a plus or minus delta A by A into delta B by B. So here delta A by A into delta B by B. This is very small term. So we can neglect this. Okay. Already delta A by A is small. Delta B by B is small. So if you multiply that value is very much small. So I can neglect this. Write the remaining equation. 1 plus or minus delta z by z is equal to 1 into plus or minus delta a by a plus or minus delta b divided by b. Your 1 and 1 get cancelled. So the remaining terms plus or minus delta z by z is equal to plus or minus I can take common here. So delta a divided by a plus delta b divided by b once again plus or minus plus or minus get cancelled so delta z by z is equal to delta a divided by a 
plus delta b divided by b. This is the final equation. So delta z by z we can say as fractional error. So the maximum fractional error in the product. Multiplication means product. So in the product of two quantities is equal to sum of individual fractional errors. Okay, individual fractional errors of two quantities. Same way we are going to see for division of two quantities. So next one is error in the division of two quantities. Error in the division of two quantities. So what is my z value now? z value is equal to a divided by b. So take this as first equation. Since we familiar with the measured value of a and measured value of b, straight away I am going to write what is measured value of z? z plus or minus delta z equal to measured value of a is a plus or minus delta a. Measured value of b is b plus or minus delta b. So here I am going to take a as common. So when I take a as common, 1 plus delta a by a divided by same way here take b as common, 1 plus delta b divided by b. So once again if you multiply a into 1 a, so a into plus or minus delta a by a. So what will happen? a and a get cancelled delta a. So these two terms are similar, right? Just I am taking a as common. Now here look a divided by b. What is a divided by b? z. So substitute here z plus or minus delta z is equal to a divided by b is z. So the remaining terms 1 plus or minus delta a divided by a. So here the power is 1 when it comes up minus 1. So 1 into plus or minus delta b divided by b the whole power minus 1. So in this I am going to use a small theorem. So that theorem is nothing but binomial theorem. So in mathematics you will read okay. Binomial theorem formula is 1 plus x the whole power n. That is nothing but 1 plus nx. So this n represents the power. So z plus or minus delta z is equal to z into 1 plus or minus delta a divided by a into 1 plus n. n means the power. So minus 1 into delta b divided by b. So here also plus or minus. So z plus or minus delta z is equal to z into 1 plus or minus delta a divided by a. So once again plus into minus is minus. Minus into minus is plus. So simply I can take this as 1 plus or minus delta b divided by b. So in this equation I am going to divide throughout by z. So I am going to divide throughout by z. So divide this z plus or minus delta z divided by z is equal to z into 1 plus or minus delta a divided by a into 1 plus or minus delta b divided by b divided by z. So z and z get cancelled. Okay. So z by z is 1. So 1 plus delta z divided by z is equal to. Now multiply this. 1 into 1 is 1 plus or minus 1 into delta b divided by b. Multiply these two terms plus or minus delta a divided by a. When I multiply this last term, second term and second term, delta a divided by a into 
delta b divided by b like how we saw in case of product delta a by a and delta b by b since it, uh, it is a very small term we can neglect this S 1 and 1 get cancelled so plus or minus delta z divided by z is equal to plus or minus I have just taken plus or minus as common in these two terms delta a divided by a plus delta b divided by b plus or minus and plus or minus get cancelled so, so the final equation is delta z by z is equal to delta a divided by a plus delta b divided by b so delta z by z is fractional error so the maximum fractional error in the division of two quantities is equal to sum of the fractional error of individual quantities ok so two subdivisions will be asked in 5 mark question any two subdivision they will club either addition multiplication subtraction and product so two subdivisions together it will be asked in a 5 mark question very important practice this so it will be very easy for you ok thank you for watching this video